I wanted to create some fog in the scene to add to the atmosphere and mood. I already had an exponential high fog in here, but I also wanted some moving fog that I could art direct and adjust. So naturally I searched online for tutorials and looked at how people were doing it. Over the last few days I learned about 4 different ways of adding fog in Unreal Engine. I might post the full tutorial of each process if it gains enough interest, but for now I'll just quickly show you and explain the different methods. So the first method I tried was... And it didn't work. It's insane, I don't understand why it didn't work. Jokes aside, the 4 different methods I found were... In-engine fog cards Dynamic fog planes using noise textures Dynamic volume fog using a material Dynamic fog with pre-recorded JPEG sequence Firstly, the method that takes the least amount of effort and time is the fog materials you get when you download Unreal Engine. There are different types of meshes and fog materials in the Engine Volumetrics folder. These are really quick and easy to set up because all the material nodes and parameters have already been set up for you. You just need to drag it into your scene, rescale to however you want, and adjust the parameters to get some local fog in your scene. However, they are not the most interesting looking fog as they are not dynamic and quite even in its spread. The second method involves playing around a bit in material functions. Essentially you create a material that pans a noise texture, then you apply that material on a flat plane to make it look like moving fog. If you vary the type of noise that you're using, you can get multiple different types of fog using this method. The downside of this is obviously the fog has no volume and is basically a flat plane. The third method is also using a simple material function. It utilizes the exponential high fog in your scene to create a moving volumetric fog. I saw all sorts of wonderful things that some people were making by using this concept, but I have only been able to learn a basic version of this. Much like the second method, if you use different noise textures, you can create multiple different versions as well. The thing I have not been able to figure out is that because the material is using absolute world position, you can't really rotate this fog volume too much because it starts looking too stretched. The last but not least is using pre-recorded JPEG sequences and using media players to add fog. I think this is the easiest way to get realistic looking fog as we are using captured images of real life fog. However, obviously this is also on a flat plane and doesn't have any volume. Because it's essentially using a video sequence that has a beginning and an end, it's not suitable for real time content either. There's a comparison video I made using cinematic renders, so I rendered the same shot many times, showing the end result of all of these methods, and even combinations of them. Make sure to check it out if you are undecided on which one you want to go with in your next project. If you would like to see all the steps I took to create each of these fork elements, please leave a comment below and let me know. Hopefully you found this useful, please give a like and subscribe for more content, and as always, thank you for watching.